Yes, a big breaking news coming in from Punjab. Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi might just be declared as the Congress Chief Ministerial face for the Punjab Assembly polls for the Congress. As sources say that he is now leading in the survey the party is conducting to choose the CM candidate. This is, of course, a big development coming in from Punjab. Remember, there seems to be a massive war of Sardars there. A, a tiff between Navjot Singh Sidhu and Charanjit Singh Shani, both vying for the top post of Chief Minister. Both of them have been putting enough pressure on the Congress High Command to be naming the Chief Ministerial face. Here, Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Shani seems to now be the popular choice. Charanjit Singh Shani might just be declared by the Congress as the chief ministerial face for the Punjab Assembly polls. As sources say that he seems to be leading in the survey that the party conducted on ground, uh, trying to understand the people's sentiments on who they want to see as chief minister uh, as part of the Congress party. This is, of course, big development, just even as Sidhu, who is currently upset, is quite disgruntled over the fact that Congress has so far so long not announced a CM face, has taken off to Vaishno Devi. He is now temple hopping, not commenting as yet. Let me cut across to Manjit Segal joining us for more on that. Manjit, this is a big development after much of that uh, tension. It appears that the Congress has carried out a ground survey to try and understand people's sentiments and who they want to see as their Chief Minister. And from the looks of it, Charanjit Singh Shani, the incumbent Chief Minister, seems to be a popular choice. Yes, indeed, Navila. Uh, this time, uh, party also conducted a survey in which two choices were given. People were asked to choose whether they will go with uh, Navjot Singh Sidhu or Charanjit Singh Channi. Charanjit Singh Channi was at number one and number two was Navjot Singh Sidhu. Third choice was whether the party should go without a chief ministerial candidate. So this is the survey which is currently on. Rahul Gandhi had last week said that the party will be deciding and declaring a chief ministerial face within a week. Navjot Singh Sidhu had also a couple of days said that the decision will be acceptable to him and uh, Charanjit Singh Channi as well as this was in the interest of the party. Navjot Singh Sidhu had also claimed that if party gives a clarity on chief ministerial face, that can add between 5 to 10 percent additional votes to party's kitty. And uh, Sidhu had also claimed that his, if his manifesto is considered and adopted by the party, that will also add more seats to the party. This is what Navjot Singh Sidhu has been saying in the public, but on the other, he has been sulking and uh, he, he is, has gone to uh, Vaishnu Devi Shrine to seek the blessings of Goddess. So because there is a lot of anxiety into uh, factions of the Congress, one is led by Sidhu and Charanjit Singh Chani. Second, Navjot Singh Sidhu is also very tense as a very old, three decade old road rage case has also been opened and Supreme Court is also hearing this case today. Uh, Navilla. Right, uh, here you have Charanjit Singh Shani, uh, who's already the incumbent CM. Uh, it appears that the Congress party has applied the same formula that our Aadmi party used to try and understand who is the popular face. And of that, Channi seems to be the man in the forefront. This was uh, what was the buzz already. Do you think at any time from now, the Congress will make the big announcement and settle the dust? Well, we are hearing that the announcement can be made any time and uh, sources say that Charanjit Singh Channi within a period of just three months has established himself as an astute politician the, in the survey which was revealed by the former Punjab Congress chief Sunil Chakhar yesterday. Channi got just two votes but during the past three weeks his popularity graph has gone up. After he, he's, he took many pro-people decisions, uh, he's being liked and he's become very popular hmm. right. in Punjab. But this is not to say that... All right, uh, Manjit, thank you very much for joining us with those details. Uh, let's see what the Congress party decides. Meanwhile, you have Punjab Congress Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu in a sulking mode. Sidhu on his way back to Amritsar evades India today's questions on Congress CM face. No Says no comments repeatedly when asked. This comes as the Punjab no Congress comment. Chief returned to Katra after completing no his comment. sudden pilgrimage to Vaishno Devi Shrine while virtually abandoning the poll campaign yesterday. Now, the Punjab Congress split widened further as the Congress declared there Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Channi as the only face to campaign for Uttarakhand elections 2022, dropping Sidhu from the list of star campaigners. Meanwhile, a big statement by Sidhu's wife has now surfaced with Navjot Kaur announcing that one of them may consider retirement. The sulking Punjab Congress Chief is certainly bad news for the Congress, which is now locked in a do-or-die battle in Punjab.
नो कॉमेंट नो कॉमेंट आफ्टर पेइंग ओबेसेंस एट द होली श्राइन ऑफ माता वैष्णो देवी पंजाब प्रदेश कांग्रेस चीफ नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू हैज नाउ रीच कटरा एंड ही इज गोइंग टू नाउ रिटर्न टू अमृतसर देर यू सी द मैन ऑफ द मोमेंट पंजाब प्रदेश कांग्रेस चीफ नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू येस्टरडे इन अ सरप्राइज मूव he cancelled all his election related programs and he reached the holy shrine of mata vaishno devi we will speak to navjot sir comment no comment no comment sir utra se kar de utra se kar de sir utra no comment list aayi uske naam no comment sir sir chenni sahab keh rahe hain front runner hai no comment sir chenni sahab no comment no comment usko bata dijiye maa ke darbar aaye usko bata dijiye kya rahe hain chunav ke liye no comment no comment there you see punjab pradesh congress chief navjot singh siddhu is waiting media we will again try and talk to him sir sir who is going to be the cm candidate sir who is going to be the sir ji ji aur aapne jo bayan bade chal rahe hain uske liye kya kahenge Let me quickly cut across to Sunil Ji, but who has been tracking those developments there, tried to get an answer out of Navjot Singh Sidhu, but he refused to speak. Sunil, we saw you trying to persuade Sidhu to speak, and very unlikely of, of him to uh, to bite his lip. He always has something to say, but this time he tried to maintain strategic silence. He skipped those campaigns. He's now on a temple hopping spree. Does not want to be part of the uh, elaborate campaigning that the Congress, on the other hand, is carrying out. What does it look like? What does it speak of? absolutely nabila navjot singh uh, is a person who is often seen uh, talking before the media on every issue but today he was tight lipped i asked a specific question to him that who was going to be the chief ministerial candidate in punjab and whether he wanted to be projected himself as a cm candidate but he clearly said no comments no comments that was the reaction from punjab congress president navjot singh sidhu we understand that there is in fighting going on within the punjab congress right now there is a tussle between charanjit singh channi and navjot singh sidhu congress party has already said that they are going to project somebody as the chief minister uh, chief ministerial face in these elections but who is it going to be is it going to be charanjit singh channi or navjot singh sidhu but it seems that the uh, that charanjit singh channi has an edge over navjot singh sidhu and that is why navjot singh sidhu is sulking yesterday in a surprise move cancelling all his election related programs he came to the holy shrine of mata vaishno devi where he paid obeisances he stayed there at night at the bhavan and today he returned to katra and right now he is on his way to amritsar i followed his cavalcade from katra to jammu and now he has left for amritsar right now i am on jammu pathan kot highway and um, uh, siddhu is now going back to amritsar he is going to hold deliberation with his supporters but it remains to be seen that what is going to be his next political move all eyes are on navjot singh sidhu but clearly he is sulking uh, he has uh, he has been nursing chief ministerial ambitions for a long time but somehow his efforts are not yielding the desired results and he now seems to be arm twisting his own party Nabila Well uh, Sunil we've seen Siddhu have his way all along right from the time where he pushed for uh, Amrinder Singh uh, to be ousted more or less he was then wanting to be made the Congress chief of uh, Punjab he was elevated to that position he also now wants to be the chief minister will he get that or not of course only uh, a week now away from Punjab polls barely about 10 days when Punjab goes to polls but so far the Congress has, has not had the courage to announce a CM face only because of a disgruntled siddhu exceedingly now becoming hostile let's take a quick listen as sunil but try to follow him track his movements to get an answer from him on why he evaded campaign trails and now is temple hopping let's take a listen after paying obeisances at the holy shrine of mata vaishno devi punjab pradesh congress chief navjot singh siddhu has now reached katra and he is going to now return to amritsar there you see the man of the moment punjab pradesh congress chief navjot singh sidhu yesterday in a surprise move he cancelled all his election related programs and he reached 
the holy shrine of Mata Vaishno Devi. We will speak to him. No comment. No comment. No comment. Sir, sir, no comment. No comment. Sir, Chenni is saying that he is a front runner. No comment. No comment. No comment. Tell us about the mosque. There you see Punjab Pradesh Congress Chief Navjot Singh Sidhu is evading media. We will again try and talk to him. Sir, who is going to be the CM candidate? Sir, who is going to be the CM candidate? Sir, uh, Sunil Ji, but who's been trying hard to try and get an answer from Navjot Singh Sidhu, it clearly appears that he's so upset, frustrated, if anything, uh, not giving out an answer as yet. He's so long trying to put enough pressure on the Congress government to announce his name as the CM for Punjab. Uh, for the Congress unit, but the Congress party, looking at the pulse on ground, it appears, has held back so far. No comment. No comment. No comment. All right, let me quickly take you through a quick glimpse here at the strengths and weaknesses of Navjot Singh Sidhu, of the, uh, in fact, probable candidate here, Navjot Singh Sidhu, and as well as Charanjit Singh Chani. Starting from Sidhu's strengths here, he was a celebrity, in fact, has quite some celebrity appeal or mass appeal for that matter. He is known for oratory skills. He speaks very well, so, uh, so long he is a, a, a quite a popular face for the Congress party, undoubtedly a celebrity face. He enjoys the massive Jat community support as well, and also has a clear-cut anti badal stance. Now, let me take you through a quick glimpse into the weaknesses here of Navjot Singh Sidhu. Uh, in fact, we're looking at several statements that he's made that has not gone down too well for the Congress party. He's quite self-centered as per uh, what the party cadre itself, many of them saying anonymously. And he's got a, a chronic boss challenger here and a target of Lampoon, also a weak Pathak quotient. Now, let me take you through the opportunity here for Siddhu. Now, this is sailing the Congress successfully through five cornered contest. Uh, it's, of course, going to be a tough task for Siddhu as we see several players in the fray this time. We're also looking at Siddhu has too many adversaries now. And this is, of course, the biggest threat for Siddhu that the celebrity Neta currently faces, many of them who are now opposing Siddhu tooth and nail. Let me quickly cut across to Kamaljeet Sandhu there, who's spoken exclusively to Navjot Singh Sidhu's wife, Navjot Kaur. Let's take a listen what she has to say. Mukhya Mantri Chahara, this is a very big thing. Navjot Singh Sidhu has seen that in every party, when they are living, they are a maverick politician. They are talking about their talk. We have also seen here that they had a war with Captain Amrinder. They also had a war with Captain Amrinder. Then we have seen that where they said that they are Advocate General, DGP. But now the thing is coming to the face. Do you think that this was a poll survey or do you think that they should have to do it directly? देखो पोल सर्वे पार्टी की एक स्ट्रेटजी होती है कि एक तो उनको फीडबैक भी चाहिए होता है बिकॉज़ इतनी सारी स्टेट्स होती हैं तो मेरे हिसाब से इसमें कोई बुरी बात नहीं है पर सर्वे प्रॉपर होना चाहिए यही बात है क्योंकि सर्वे अगर पार्शल हो जाए या कहीं ऐसा हो जाए तो वो कई बारी हाम कर देता पार्टी को और बाकी जनरल माइंड जो उन्होंने बनाना है उसके बारे में कोई कोई इंसान पहले बात नहीं कर सकता उनको बहुत सारी चीजें सोचनी पड़ती हैं पर क्योंकि ऐसा कहा जाता है कि 2017 में जब गांधी की बातचीत हुई थी नवजोत सिंह सिद्धू को उन्होंने कहा था कि हाँ जब आप आएंगे तो कोई सेकंड फिडल नहीं प्ले कर वो इसलिए नहीं लिया, because उसके पावर्स नहीं होते कोई। नवजोत सिद्धू की कोई पर्सनल लड़ाई नहीं है। नवजोत सिद्धू अगर प्रोफेशनली और पर्सनली देखें, तो हर इंसान आज के जमाने में ये सोचता है कि मेरी सैलरी कहाँ बढ़ रही है और शिफ्ट करता है, जंप करता है या मेरे फैदे कहाँ हैं वहाँ जंप कर जाता है। हम � बहुत सारे ऑफर्स मिलते हैं तो मैं इस बार भी रिफ्यूज किए जहाँ पे डिक्लेयर भी कर रहे थे कोई एसीएम फेस वो भी नहीं लिया 
और वो इसीलिए एक्सेप्ट नहीं किया क्योंकि जिस पार्टी में है हमें आदत है ईमानदारी से उसी पार्टी के लिए काम करने की बात ये है कि जो प्रोजेक्ट्स तुम्हारे माइंड में होते हैं ना जो तो एक वर्किंग इंसान है वो वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम वाला या उसके लिए ये नहीं है कि मेरे पर्सनल गेन्स हों या उसने कोई फैक्ट्रियां खोलनी है या उसने कोई बिजनेस चलाना है उसको ये है कि मैं अगर यूनियन मिनिस्ट्रीज भी छोड़ी तो इसीलिए छोड़ी कि मैं पंजाब है मेरा इसके लिए कुछ कर जाऊं क्योंकि जिंदगी में बहुत कुछ छोटी उम्र में देख लिया आपको लगता है क्योंकि आपके हस्बैंड हैं क्यों वो मुख्यमंत्री फेस के लिए सबसे ज्यादा हक है देखो एक तो मैं बहुत क्लियर कर दूं कि मैं कभी भी लाइफ में शायद आमी मैन की बेटी हूं तो बहुत क्लियर हूं बहुत क्लैरिटी से बात करती हूं नवजोत सिद्धू इसलिए कि उससे ऑनेस्ट बंदा पॉलिटिशियन है नहीं उसने बहुत कुछ सैक्रिफाइस किया है दूसरा उसकी ब्रिलियंस जो है प्रॉब्ली बिकॉज मेडिटेशन ही करता है या काम करता है और जब काम करते हैं तो रात के तीन बज जाए चार बज जाए दो दिन जागते रहे उनको कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता उनका काम करने का तरीका इतना एग्रेसिव है तीसरा जहां भी चले जाएं उनको कोई ना नहीं करता उनकी पर्सनालिटी ऐसी है कि उन्होंने इतने पैसे मेरे सामने काम किया लोकल बॉडीज में और इतने पैसे लेके आए कि कोई भी नहीं ला सकता एक बार में जाके पांच पांच फ्लाईओवर्स पास करवाए मतलब यहां पे फाइलें जो है ना यहाँ पे लटकती लटकती तीन साल तो फाइलें नहीं क्लियर होती मैम ऐसा भी कहा जाता है इज इट ऑल और नथिंग यानी अगर ये सपना पूरा नहीं होता कि आप लोग विकल्प ऐसा कर रहे हैं कि बिल्कुल छोड़ के चले जाएंगे uh, देखो सीट आई एम वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट कि सीट हम जीतेंगे तो uh, ये कभी नहीं हो सकता कि हम लोगों को अपने लोगों को ऐसे छोड़ के जाएंगे uh, पर हम दोनों में से एक जाना uh, जरूर अपनी प्रोफेशन की तरफ शिफ्ट करेगा uh, क्योंकि सीट uh, तो देखेंगे देखेंगे पर प्रोफेशनली uh, जरूर शिफ्ट करेगा क्योंकि फिर हमें uh, थोड़ा सा मन में आ जाता है कि नहीं uh, यहां हमारी कुछ भी नहीं हमारा जो हमारी विजन है वो पूरी नहीं होने वाली वो एज ए एनजीओ एज ए सोशल वर्कर भी पूरी हो सकती है जैसे अब मेरे दिमाग में आया कि हाँ बिकॉज यू नो हम जैसे लोग हमेशा कांग्रेस में रहेंगे हमेशा कांग्रेस में रहेंगे ऐसा भी uh, नहीं मैं कुछ नहीं उनको देखो उनको पूछना पड़ेगा क्योंकि uh, हो सकता है मुझे कह दें कि तू सीट का ख्याल रख मैं जा रहा हूं यू नो सो यू कैन से एनी थिंग अबाउट दैट बिकॉज उस इंसान ने काम करना है पंजाब चीफ मिनिस्टर चरणजीत सिंह शमनी ओनली कांग्रेस लीडर फ्रॉम पंजाब टू कैंपेन फॉर उत्तराखंड इलेक्शन नाउ पंजाब कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट अवजोत सिंह सिद्धू डज नॉट फाइंड स्पेस इन दैट लिस्ट ऑफ स्टार कैंपेनर्स now this is increasingly uh, shedding light on the kind of equation that siddhu now holds with the congress senior leadership clearly it appears that uh, there's some bridges that have been burnt due to which it appears siddhu has now been dropped as the star campaigner for the congress party in the upcoming uttarakhand elections only the incumbent chief minister charanjit singh shani will continue to campaign for the congress in uttarakhand let me go across to manjit segal manjit what does this signify what signal does it send out siddhu has been dropped as a star campaigner for uttarakhand polls only chani will be campaigning <laughs> Well, Navila Navjot Singh Sidhu had made it clear uh, before Rahul Gandhi when he visited Punjab and addressed a virtual rally last week that he don't want to be a show horse. He had said in Punjabi that he don't want to be a darshani khoda. So he has been saying it time and again that he is here to do something concrete, something big for the Punjab. So Navjot Singh Sidhu had uh, had not given his consent. But as far as Punjab is concerned, he want to campaign for other seats. He has uh, declared this as well. But if we talk about the strategy of the opposition parties like shirmani kali dal bharti janata party and aam aadmi party opposition in fact wants to contain navjot singh sidhu to amritsar is that is why uh, the uh, shirmani kali dal dal has fielded bikram singh majithia uh, who, who uh, gave up uh, his uh, traditional uh, majithia seat and has now contesting against navjot singh sidhu so strategy here Uh, is to contain Navjot Singh Sidhu, limit Navjot Singh Sidhu to his own constituency, so that he is not able to uh, campaign and canvass for uh, the other candidates in the state. And uh, Sidhu had time and again maintained that he don't want to be a show horse. All right. Thank you very much, Manjit, for joining us with those details. Now. On the other hand, the battle for Punjab hits top gear as Bikram Majithia accepts Sidhu's challenge to fight only from one seat, that's Amritsar East constituency. He was earlier to also fight for Majithia. He now gives that up for his wife, who will also be contesting from uh, a seat from the Akali Dal. Let's take a quick look at this detailed ground report.
The fight between arch rivals Navjot Singh Sidhu and Bikram Majithia just got more fierce. The Kali the leader has declared he will contest elections from just one seat, Amritsar East, giving up his family bastion, Majitha, and taking Sidhu's dare head on. Sidhu has earlier challenged Majithia to fight from just one seat that is against him. I am committed because they want the people of this area wanted me to fight. I am honoring their wishes. The people will so decide. I have no egos like him. Replacing Bikram Majithia from the Majitha constituency will be his wife Ganeev Kaur. Majithia, who has been granted protection from arrest by the Supreme Court till February 23rd in connection with a drugs case, faces an uphill task in Amritsar East. The Kali Dal has never fought elections from Amritsar East. The constituency has always been a direct fight between the Congress and the former Akali ally, the BJP. The Congress dominated with more than 50% votes in four out of the last five elections since 2009. In 2017, Sidhu won 60% of total votes. BJP's Rakesh Kumar Hani was able to get only 17.7% votes, while Amarmi Party got 14.8% votes. The fight for Amritsar East will be the most keenly watched battles of Punjab. Sidhu has been targeting Majithia over alleged links to drugs mafia since his days in the BJP, even when they were allies. These elections are do or die for both. While Sidhu in the race for Chief Minister's job, for Majithia, his political future is at stake. Bureau Report, India Today. All right, for more information on that, you could log on to indiatoday.in. You could also download our app for more. Stay tuned. I'm going to come back with the top headlines.